I had a great time voicing Amazing Spider-Man in Spider-Man Edge of Time, and I can't wait for you to meet me in the game. What's important is not standing by and allowing someone to suffer or die because you do nothing. In Spider-Man Edge of Time, there's this evil scientist who rewrites the past so that he can influence the future. A Spider-Man from the future, Spider-Man 2099. You're the one who doesn't get it, Parker. Explains this to me and we have to team up to uh, work together through time and through our own personal differences. Now who's being selfish? Fine. I'll admit it, I'm selfish. Happy? There's a lot of obstacles and villains that you're gonna have to overcome in Spider-Man Edge of Time. You got uh, villains like Anti-Venom, a future version of Black Cat. You're gonna have to battle the main villain who is manipulating time for his own gains. How may I serve you, Mr. Sloan? You're also gonna have to compete against time itself. You have two timelines that are happening simultaneously. What you do in one will affect the other one immediately. So if you're in the future and somebody's in the past and somebody does something in that past, it's going to immediately affect your future. It, it makes you think. It's, it's more than, than just dealing with what's in front of you. Time is constantly ticking down and you have to fight against this. Otherwise, I die. And you don't want that to happen.